NBC4 News at 11 a.m. starts with breaking news. Right now at 11 a.m., breaking news. Former L.A. City Council member Jose Wiesard has just been sentenced to 13 years in prison. Good morning, everyone. I'm Annabelle Sedano. In for Michael Brownlee today. Let's get straight to NBC4's McCullough Medina, who was inside the courthouse. Mac, what was the reaction inside the courtroom after hearing the sentence? Well, prosecutors say they believe it's justice. Although Weezer wanted a shorter sentence, nine years, he did not get that. He will surrender at the end of April to start that 13-year sentence, the longest of political corruption case in L.A. history. Now, the judge said he deserved that sentence after orchestrating and being the architect, he said, of a pay-to-play scheme that lined his pockets with millions. Let me show you some video really quickly of Weezer entering the courtroom here in downtown L.A. around 8 o'clock this morning. He pleaded guilty to two charges. Charges leveled against him, violating the RICO Act and also tax evasion. He gave a very brief statement in front of the judge saying he was sorry to his family first, the city and the citizens of Los Angeles, and he says he took full responsibility. The judge listened but reminded him that he first denied the allegations, then tried to blame others for it. The judge saying that Wizar was the leader of a corruption ring that he created using his elected role as a city councilor and his role as chairmanship of the development committee in the city council, uh, even using close friends, his brother and even his mother, to launder nearly $2 million in bribes. The prosecutors say he only thought of himself as he orchestrated the corruption. Instead of serving the constituents of Los Angeles with integrity, Mr. Huizar chose to lie in his own pockets. Instead of operating with honesty, he chose to act with greed. And instead of public service, he chose corruption on a massive scale. He instead chose corruption and greed. He used his power to use City Hall like his personal ATM. That was what was leveled against him by the prosecution. The federal judge certainly agreed with them. Prosecutors are also seeking restitution of that $1.5 million in bribes. They did not quite get that. He was ordered to pay $50,000 today, also $35,000 to the IRS and those back taxes. Uh, the rest of his assets that were remaining, which were not much, apparently went to, uh, to care for his younger son. Uh, the judge did talk about the fact that it uh, doesn't look like Mr. Weezer has a lot of assets left, and they did didn't anticipate any more restitution being paid, although that is uh, unclear right now. We'll try to get some more certification on that. Meantime, it does look like Mr. Weezer will have a few more months left of freedom before turning himself in at the end of April. We're live downtown. I'm McCollum Medina, NBC4 News. All right, McCollum, thank you very much for that.